Imagine thinking MP isn't the MVP of the tournament. Could never be me. I can't wait to see what MP has in store for us in the championship game. This kid's got a flair for the dramatic. Listen, they rocking with me. They see the greatness already. And my attributes is not even high yet. My badges is not even there yet. And I'm not comfortable with the dribbling yet. The dribbling is different this year. So wait until I get all those things and I make it into the NBA. I'm going crazy. But we in the March Madness National Championship game, if you will. They not calling it March Madness, but I'm going to call it March Madness, though. And right here, I'm showing you that I did play all of the college games, obviously, but I did skip the first four, and I'm showing y'all the semifinals, aka the final four, and the championship game is about to happen right now versus West Virginia. March Madness National Championship Game. The Michigan State Spartans versus the West Virginia Mountaineers. Eli Harris is making his name well known around the globe. But what will happen today? Will he lead his team to victory and win the national championship in his freshman year in college? Or will the Mountaineers finally do something that no other team has done before? Which is figure out a way to stop Eli Harris. We'll see. This is where the future is made. March Madness. Hoodie fell! It's your boy Hoodie Sean and I'm back! Back at it again, back in action with the Brody! Eli Primetime Harris, listen! We gotta go crazy, this is the national championship game. I can't make it all the way here and lose, my dude. You know we not losing! A bit of a slow start for us, down zero to four. Hold on, stop, pop, let it drop! Wet like water! That green right Lisa, that green Mita, Shita, boy, hold on. I don't know why my green effect is not happening. When I get my greens, I gotta fix that. I turned my shot meter off, whoop, whoop. That in between, boy, oh my goodness. Wet like water. I'm shushing the crowd. I see a lot of blue and yellow in the crowd. I'm hushing them up. Shut your face, shut your mouth. Y'all not winning this game. Hold on, number 96 was in his bag a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. He was kind of bullying my center, and I ain't like that. Let me call for a little play. Switch it up a little bit. Set them screens. Let me get open. Set the screen under the basket. Two screens for me, and it should be a green. Pull up. Money. That green Lisa. That green Mita. That excellent release, boy. I might need to turn my shot meter back on just to get that effect. I might have to. I'm not going to lie to you. Put him in a post looking like Kobe. R.I.P. to a goat, man. My guy Kobe, dog. Every time I say it, it hurt my soul. Hold on, though. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Green. I'm abusing this little snap back move until I can figure out this dribbling. I got ankle breaker on silver, so I can snap and, you know, freeze up my defender a little bit. I'm trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work. So you're going to see me do a lot of the same moves over and over like that step back. I'm going to figure out the dribbling. Once I do, good night. But speaking of good nights, go to sleep, dude. Later, looking like Kobe. Hush him up. Silence the crowd. I see a lot of blue and yellow. It's a lot of Mountaineers fans in the building. Shut your mouth. It's all about that white and green, that green and white. Yeah, that not me. <laughs> yeah, that not me. It's that Spartan game. What you talking about? Hold on, Snatch. Same location, same results. Green. People love to forget about that mid-range game. It's excellence. People just want to shoot threes and dunk. I mean, I get it, but that mid-range is fire as well. Wow. That two hand power slam. Wait until I get posterizer on gold. I'm dunking on everybody, but excuse me, brother. Whatever is in your pocket is now mine, sir. Excuse me, brother. Thank you. Give me those. I'm picking your pockets. The dual lockdown takeover is now activated. Just wait, my steal rating is on about a 75, I wanna say. Nice putback dunk by my big right there, but wait until I get that steal rating to a 90. I'm going crazy. But look at 96, dunking on my teammate, dude. Hey, yo, relax. Put him in a post. You know what time it is. You know what, you know what time it is. I had to hit him with the shimmy. Oh, damn. Them ankles looking a little loose. 
Get your ankles together, brother. Get your ankles together, brother, or I'm going to snatch him. <laughs> Snatched. Hold on. Between the legs. Cross. Got him. Stop and pop. Bang. I'm going to be a... Ooh, boy, I swear for God. I, oh, my. He's leaning again. Where you going? Oh, my goodness, though. Oh, damn. That was the highlight of my college career. And I missed the duck. I mistimed it. I didn't expect the 180. So I released it too early, though. And then I tried to come back and dunk on the... Wow. Wow. But it don't matter. We the national champions, baby. Yes, sir. I like that. We cutting down the net, which is a March Madness college tradition. I like that, 2K. But let's talk to my guy Ricky real quick. Big dog walking through. How's it feel to be the MP? YouTube star turned collegiate legend. Yeah, honestly. I feel great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does it feel as great as you thought it was going to feel when I caught you practicing taking down the net with your little step stool? With that oh, you just never going to let you forget that story, huh, bro? <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you know what? I respect that. <laughs> hey, hey, for real, though. You been thinking at all about next steps? Bro, always. That's what I'm talking about. So where's your head at? Because, you know, I got a million ideas about how we could leverage where we're at now, but, you know, I want to know what you're thinking before I push the button on anything. So I think if you go with college first, you can actually go to the G League after college. So you can go straight to the NBA. You can go to the G League after college. They give you options, bro. I kind of like that. Always give us options. Don't be forcing us to do stuff. But, you know... It's time for the NBA for Eli Harris, man. I can't wait too much longer. I'm impatient. Man, look, I I got my eyes set on the NBA. Dog, you were the no-brainer number one draft pick. I, I will call your mama up and have her slap some sense into you if you don't immediately declare for the draft. Okay, what happened to you could be this huge music and fashion icon without having to play a single NBA game? Okay, Whatever yeah, happened to our dream, you bro? You could, bro, and I believe that. I still do. But there's no need, man. You're a legend and your career is already taken off. Yeah, well, I like that. You can keep going. Look, you are a generational talent. Look, and you'd be making a huge mistake if you didn't immediately declare for the draft. I was hoping for a lot a lot more celebrating, a lot less scolding, but yeah, I take it, I guess. And if you think about anything other than the NBA, that's exactly what you need. A good old-fashioned scolding. And like I said, your mama not too far. I'll get her on your case if you think about messing this yeah, up. Yeah, I understand where you stand, bro. I got this. Good. Honestly, I'm thinking about going to the G League. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. A lot of top prospects come out of G League now. I, yeah, I'm not knocking the G League, but it's a great option for a lot of dudes. But not if you've got the top draft pick on lock, bro. It'd be stupid for you to go to the G League right now. Bro, everybody talks about the development program, right? How they work you, how you own your skills. And it's getting you ready for the NBA. Why would not I do that? All of that is true. But you got the top draft pick, bro. The normal rules don't really apply to you. You trying to sound special? I ain't gonna say that. Bro. Come on, man. You know I got a fragile ego. It's like a real star thing. I can't really Just control it. Don't make me say it. If man. you don't say it, I'm going to the G League. All right, fine. You special. All right, you you have some of the biggest talent I've ever seen, and it's not even close. I mean, you honestly have a chance to be one of the greatest ball players of all time. You happy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You actually said it, bro. You real weak. Man, I'm gonna kill you, bro. <sighs> I love it. Get on my nerves. All right, this is it. We got to talk to Ricky one more time to declare for the NBA draft. 
I'm ready. Again, the draft is random. I don't know what team I'm going to. You made a decision, haven't you? You can tell that just by looking at my face, bro. Man, how long have I known you? Since what, kindergarten? And you've been making that same stupid face. So come on, tell me what you want to do. Hey, so what you think? What do I think? I, I can't believe this, bro. Hey, bro, you've been gassing me ever since we was in kindergarten, and you can't believe this? But I'm just saying, man, this is huge. This is the NBA, Yo. bro, and it's, it's like for real, really... For real? Hey, yo, but wait, is it really happening, though? Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, all right, so what's next, Mr. Manager? What we doing? Next? Next, I, I, I got a lot to do, but I'm gonna need a minute to set everything up, so why don't you just come back in a little bit and we can talk details. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Don't get hurt. Funny guy. No, 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 I'm not playing, MP. If I catch you skateboarding, we gonna have some problems. All right, Mom. I'll be home before the lights out, too, so I don't get grounded, <laughs> okay? You're so funny, bro. So after talking with Ricky again, now we got to choose two different agents before draft day. So I'm going with the one on the bottom, which is a black dude who helps you get into the music and, you know, fashion stuff later on in your NBA career. So we arrived at the office and I don't know who this curly head fine lady is, but I'm going to need your number. Ah! I'm sorry. Hey. My bad. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with Charles Hampton. And you must be MP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Charles is with your friend Ricky in our East Conference room. Oh, they're here? Yeah, I got here about 10 minutes ago. He said he didn't want to keep you waiting. Ooh, that's my boy, okay. Yeah, you can head right back through there. Uh, you'll see them in our conference room and you can't miss it. Great, thank you. And my name's uh, Adriana, in case you need anything. I appreciate that, Adriana, thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. Adriana, oh, okay, your name Adriana. <laughs> I'ma remember that, Adriana. I kind of like your name, too. Let me get in this motherfucking elevator, because she... Ooh, man, hold on. You know I just made it to the NBA, right? Uh, I mean, I, you you got to know, because the way you said my name... Ooh, the way you said my name, girl. Ooh, hold on. Maybe you can't hear me. Uh, uh The way you said my name... Can I get your number? Can I get your number? Yo, Instagram... Snapchat? Uh, Twitter? No? Fuck. Let me go ahead and leave. Uh, you going to see me again, though? Uh, you going to see me again. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every people, day. Yeah, people are commenting. They just, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going you know, on, it's guys? Just the MP oh, it's MP. Hey, How are you doing? There he goes. How you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupting something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. <laughs> nah, definitely good. man. I, I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with The Weeknd oh, in Paris. Word? It's wild, man. Dope. Oh. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you just going to represent yourself now. All right, no, 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 if that's what we're doing. Come on, shit. I'm just letting the man talk. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about my client. You, got, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes. Please, continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. With you so far. Second, and most importantly, uh, or I should say, doing large part to your boy Ricky over here, <clears throat> you got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base, and they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube page? Right. Like, hey, no, no, in the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with him. Let the man finish talking. Well, right. well listen, <laughs> let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. I like that. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure, answering only to yourselves, your vision. OK, but what about somebody like Nike, right? Are you, are you saying that we wouldn't be working with no, them? No, 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 it's not that you wouldn't work with Nike or Gatorade or whoever, right? But the, but the, the whole goal is to position you as a trailblazing icon. Because mm. nobody else has your story, MP. Yeah. And we know how to make the most of it. Uh, OK. You guys know E-40. E-40, yeah. yeah. Dude's a legend, man. Well, listen, growing up in the Bay, he's a hero of mine. And, and not just because of his music, which is ridiculously good, right. but because the dude did it on his own terms. The guy started a record label when that was not something rap artists did. Yeah. He's inspired me since day one. I mean, I mean, truth be told, he's the reason why I became an agent. Because I wanted to help artists establish their unique vision, their truths, no matter what the outside world told them was possible. 
That's what you need. That's what we can do for you. I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What'd you think, MP? Where's your head at? With this agent, I can do the music and fashion thing, so I'm not even gonna think about it. Let's go. You know, Charles, Ricky and I, we, we always talking about using sports to set up other stuff. My, my music, my mm -hmm. fashion, like that's the type of mm -hmm. career I see for myself, man. Just groundbreaking as a new athlete. That's what I want. So do we have a deal? Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> that's what's up. Let's we go. got a deal, man. That's what's up. So what are we doing? How do, what, what happens next? Well, look, man, I'm going to hang back with Ricky. We'll hash out some details. Cool, cool. You know, go do you, man. Go work out, hey, watch look. film, whatever these superstars do. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Ricky, I can't Oh, yeah, we're going to do some big things, MP. Charles, it ain't over, man. It's just getting started. Nah, we're just getting started, my <laughs> friend. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? Oh, well, listen, man, I got some branding ideas. I had to sign with my brother, man. I had to. Give him a shot. He was going to help me with the music and the fashion thing as well once I'm in the NBA. And why not sign with my dog? But hold on. <clears throat> Adriana, I told you you was going to see me again, didn't I? I told you. You thought about what I said? Hmm? Hmm? You thought about it? No? Maybe? God damn, man. Let me go ahead and get up out of here, man. Hey, look, I know we wanted to keep your draft party low-key, but you don't have to look like you at a funeral, bro. Mm, not funeral, exactly. I'm, I'm getting more of a dentist waiting room vibe. <laughs> Yo, I can actually see that. <laughs> yeah, you know, doesn't want to be bro, there. Bro, bro, we get it. Y'all got jokes. We get it, man. <laughs> hey, man, look, we just trying to loosen you up, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm good, man. This is just an eerie feeling, bro. This is the biggest day of my life. And we just sitting in my apartment like this is just some other day. It's not, bro. My whole life's about to change. Are y'all not understanding that? Nah, I get it. You, you probably need some food. You want, you want me to Ricky, get some water? Stop playing, <laughs> no, wait, bro. Wait, 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 listen, Tell listen. for a second. MP, I feel you, bro. Okay, because I remember when I first got that call from Barbara that I was hired, and I knew my whole world was about to change. And I'm sitting there in my boxer shorts. Netflix paused in the background. <laughs> hey, yo, what was you watching? I'm, I'm looking for a new show. No matter. Like, the point is, is that knowing your life's about to change and living it, two completely different things. This whole moment's all contrived for the cameras, but the real deal is walking into that training facility for the very first time as an NBA player. That's when you're going to really feel it. Congratulations, Mr. MP. Listen, sir, how are you? Man, get your bald head ass off the phone. Put MP on the phone. Stupid. <laughs> Eli Harris, congratulations. You are the newest member of the <laughs> I will see you soon. What? Thank you so much, coach. It's an honor, man. With the 17th pick in the NBA draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select MP. I'm in the NBA. That's the basketball team. You know those guys are pretty good, right? I'm in the NBA! You're in the NBA! I'm in the NBA! I'm in the NBA! I'm in the NBA. Congrats, MP. Your whole world's about to change. Hey, yo, hold on, hold on. Everybody get together. We got to get a picture for the hey, yeah, Come on, hold come on, on, come on, come on. Look cool, Charles. Hey, low blow. Let's go. Hey, three. Ah! All right, hold on. Look, look, look. No, no, no. We got to take it again. Charles, look cool, hey, man. Hey, you always a liar like no, that. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Percent more man, cool. Come you on. got this. Go, go, go. Three, two. Ah! Okay, that's it. That's that's I need it. that on my socials right now, bro. I got bro. you, bro. Chop, chop, oh, Ricky. Whoa. Bro, but you ain't gotta chop chop me, bro. I chop chop whoever I want, bro. Uh -oh, All right, chop chop uh -oh. me again. I'm gonna make sure those hands never chop chop. Oh, you go bite the hand that feeds you. Look, I knew you didn't have no book sense, but I thought you had some common sense. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Ricky. You got a better grade than me once in our entire lives. Bro. Yeah, but I sold the dopest pillow in home egg. Uh, All right, you did. I ain't no cat. Neon stripes, though. Yo, the stripes go hard. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You guys could be the next Jesus and Miro if this basketball thing. No, 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 Charles. No, 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 no. Don't gas this dude up. He don't make him think he's funnier than what he is. You see what I have to deal with, bro? I pour so much love into him, but it's just a one way street. Hey, maybe it's more of an odd couple kind of vibe. But hey, either way, we can handle that. What do you guys think about a reality TV show? Charles, pump the brakes, bro. Let me start my NBA career first, okay? Oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's do that. You in the NBA! Ah, ah, ah! Let's go, baby! Ah! Let's go! Ah! I actually made it to a team that was in my top three 
team choices to go to for this year. The Memphis Grizzlies, a team I never played for before, and I've been wanting to play with John Moran since he got into the NBA, and it's finally happening. The NBA draft, it's random. You don't get to choose what team you go to, and I still landed on the team I wanted to play for. If that don't tell you this was meant to happen, I don't know what to tell you, big fella. And I'm not going to lie, y'all probably thinking the same thing I thought when I first saw that I was drafted via a phone call at my home. But I had to think about it. Remember when LaMelo Ball and Anthony Edwards were drafted? They were not at a draft event. They were drafted from home due to you know what, that virus that's going around. Yeah, so that's why they did it that way this year and not at a NBA draft event.